Hey guys, this is Roland Wright, and I'm back again with another Keyforge video. So I went ahead and bought a display case. I opened up 10 of the packs. The other two I'm giving away to a friend of mine. These are the 10 packs I got here from this display case. I went ahead and opened all of them, and I was getting more and more frustrated as I was opening them because, as you can see here, I got one, two, three, four, four decks with Mars, one deck with Brobnar. Um, I'm not, Brobnar isn't my favorite faction, but like, ah, uh, this was really frustrating. And I've already seen and opened so many other Mars decks. Mars is the faction I don't want to see. They're not a bad faction. I just don't want to see Mars cards in my decks. Uh, so that's really annoying. Uh, also, unfortunately, there weren't a lot of really solid names in this lot. Um, there weren't a lot of great names here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go through... Uh, each of these decks on their own. I'm not really going to give my thoughts on how the deck might play just because from my experience when I do that, I tend to be wrong. Um, there are decks that I thought were total trash and they turn out to be really good and then there are decks that are really good that end up not being very good. I might give my thoughts on an individual card, but ultimately I think in terms of like deck uh, consistency and how well a deck might play, I'm just going to avoid giving those thoughts. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of jump into it. Um, I really want to open a deck with Sanctum or Brobnar. So <laughs> I hesitate to open this one because it is both, but it also is Mars. But let's do Nova Mel, the Battlefield Count. And let's go ahead and move all of these off of the table here. Um, and we're going to open up Nova. Um, well, you know, I'm looking... I, 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 love, I love Brobnar. I love Sanctum. Those are... I think my favorite factions are essentially Broadmar Sanctum. I like Shadows. I do like Dis. Um, and so far, kind of Untamed Mars and Logos have not really like uh, they don't they don't hit it with me. More like the theming. It's not it's not necessarily like the cards aren't bad. I think Logos might have some some trouble with their cards. Sorry, this is actually taking so long, and I'm doing it off camera. Um, Logos, I feel like, might be one of the weaker factions in this set. They do have some really... They can pull off some really cool combos. It's just... I've had... I've had... Mixed experiences with them. Whereas with... Whereas with... Um, Mars and stuff like that, they're more consistent. So anyways, this is Nova. Male. The Battlefield Count. Here's the Archon card. I'm going to take that out. Let's start this off with the very first card. We're going to get Anger for Robnar. This is a gain an Amber, ready and fight with a friendly creature. Uh, great card, pretty solid. You can use this on a Robnar card you just played. You can just use it with any other creature in play. With Sanctum, I feel like this is even stronger because Sanctum has some really strong combatants. All right, next up we're going to have Barehanded. This is a, also an action Amber um, play. Put each artifact on top of its owner's deck. Now, this is actually a rare card. Is that really worth being rare? I mean, Mars has the one that destroys all artifacts in play. I guess we'll see how, how this looks in this deck, but I mean, if you don't have a lot, like most artifacts don't have play effects, right? So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I go, oh, I guess if like your opponent has artifacts you really don't want them to use, but I don't know. It clogs up their deck, right? Follow the leader. This is an uncommon action. Play for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature may fight. Uh, really, really good card. Um, yeah, uh, not much else to say. Uh, then we have Punch. This is a common one. This is just deal three damage to a creature and gain an amber. Nice, cool. And we have Relentless Assaults. Play ready and fight with up to three different friendly creatures, one at a time. Man, this deck is really going to be all about fighting, huh? You get to re-ready creatures, so you can fight with creatures, then ready and fight with them again. Sound the horns. This is a gains in amber. It's an uncommon. You discard cards from the top of your deck until you either discard a Brobnar creature or run out of cards. If you discarded a Brobnar creature in this way, you get to put it in your hand. So you can just get a Brobnar creature in your hand that way and get rid of other creatures. You have Tremor. This is a stun a creature in each of its neighbors. Pretty, pretty fun card to use. Really good. Um, then we have War Song. This is an action for the remainder of the turn. Gain one amber each time a friendly creature fights. Well, as we've seen, we have a lot of ways of doing that. And we have a lot of ways of particularly doing that out of faction, right? Relentless Assault. Uh, you, you can use out of faction creatures for that. Follow the leader. Um, 
anger. Yeah, so uh, that's that's a pretty solid card. Fire Spitter. This is five power, one armor. Um, before the fight, you deal one damage to each enemy creature. Um, really, really nice card. It's great to have two of them. Um, I don't have two of them, though, apparently. Uh, this is a Headhunter, five power, fight, gain an amber. Cool. Not, not anything super special. Uh, I'm loving the fight effects here, though. That's really good, especially with all our actions that are triggering fights. Smash! Um, five power, when it comes into play, stun a creature. Yep, that's uh, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, and then we got the upgrade, Blood of Titans. This is gain an amber. The creature gets plus five power. Very nice. It's very That's very important when you're playing a fight deck, right? That you get Blood of Titans on cards so they stay in play longer. I think getting it on Headhunter or Fire Spitter in this situation is... Um, ideal or anything else with fight effects. Uh, Smash is just a one and done kind of character, right? You get him to play, you use him to kill stuff and reap or whatever, and that's it, and you move on. And moving on to Mars, we get Battle Fleet. Great Mars card to have. Um, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand for each card revealed this way. Draw a card. Really good. Really good card to have. Uh, gives you an amber. Then we have Phosphorus Stars. You see this card so many times, so much, man. Uh, play, stun each non Mars creature, and then gain two chains. Just kind of a semi-board wipe. We have Psychic Network. I haven't seen this before. This is an uncommon action play. Steal an amber for each friendly ready Mars creature. Well, downside here is we have all these cool actions that can essentially give you some cool... That essentially let you do stuff like this readies and fights. Um, this lets everything fight ready and fight but unfortunately nothing that just straight up readies a card right like that that's ideal when you have something that does that still one for each ready mars creature yeah mother gun reveal any number of mars cards from your hand deal damage equal to to a creature equal to the number of mars cards revealed this way it's a decent artifact it's not tremendous but it's it's okay having more than one of these is actually really good i think uh blip bip um this is a two power Mars creature, uncommon, reap. The next Mars creature you play this turn, enters play ready. That's pretty solid. I mean, combine that with, uh, I think, Psychic Network, and you have a little combo there. Um, next up, we have Ether Spider. Haven't seen this. This is an uncommon seven power creature. Ether Spider deals no damage when fighting, but each amber that would be added to your opponent's pool is captured by the Ether Spider instead. Really like that. Um, that's pretty good. Combine that with Blood of Titans and you make Ether Spider just the most annoying existence ever. So, neat. Next up, holy cow, what is this? Uh, Kixlix? Kixlix Plague, Plague Master. God, that's uh, kind of a tongue twister. That's a three power creature. Uh, fight and reap. Deal three damage to each human creature. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. That's interesting. The problem I feel here, though, is um, this deck itself. I, I knew I said I wouldn't really talk about the deck, but this is kind of just a concern, I guess. This is a giant, this is a giant, this is a giant. Um, so that's all good, but Sanctum, I think, has quite a few humans in it. So I'd be concerned that this might end up hurting you more than your opponent. But regardless, that's still a really powerful effect. This is a rare creature, by the way, but it's still really powerful, especially since it ignores armor. Then we have Tunk. Tunk's a great card. It's six power, one armor, but after you play another Mars creature, you just fully heal Tunk. Uh, it's great. That that looks really good for this deck because this deck is going to be all about fighting. I think <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't try to form conjecture about decks, man. It, I know it, I I end up being wrong. Uh, next up, we have Vizima Think Drones. This is a three power Reap. You may archive a friendly creature or artifact from play. Pretty solid card. There's a lot of good stuff you can you can get done with that. Then we have Yuxilo Bolter. This is a three power. Uh, fight, reap, deal two damage to a creature. If it destroys that creature, purge it. This is great because a lot of creatures will have two or three power on them. So hitting that sweet spot of being able to just purge a really valuable creature. Dis has quite a few that are really annoying, like the Ember Amp, the Dust Amp, stuff like that. Just get them out of the game for good. Um, really nice. Also, note that being purged is different than uh, destroying it. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh yeah, this says if this destroys it. Nah, that sucks. All right. Uh, then we have the Exilix Dominator. Great card. Looks so far, this looks great for our deck. Enters play stun, but you can totally mitigate that with the Brobnar cards we looked at earlier. It has taunts nine one. Love it. Great card. And then Stilix Zizix the Many. I see this. God, I this is like in every Mars deck. I swear that I've opened. 
Fight and reap. You may reveal a creature from your hand. If you do, archive it, and this is six and many gets three plus one power counters. Great card. I, I think it's really good. I think it's a it's a fun Mars card. It's a fun Mars card to play with. Next up, we go into Sanctum. We have Charge. This is a rare action. Gain an amber for the remainder of the turn. Each creature you play gains play deal two damage to an enemy creature. Love it. Great card. Then we have Cleansing Wave. Play, heal one damage from each creature, and then gain an amber for each creature healed this way. That, that is a tremendous card, can do so much work for you. Combine this with things like Fire Spitter, you, you heal all the damage on your opponent's creatures, but just gain so much amber from it. Shield of Justice, uh, this is a uh, gain an amber play for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. This card is ridiculous. I have played against people who use this and just like attack, 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 and then they play some kind of combo that lets them attack, attack, attack again. Really annoying card, man. Really good for this deck. And I have two of them. Holy cow. You know, they give Amber, too. So they're not, you know, there's always a use for them. The harder they come, play Purge a Creature with Power 5 or higher. That's great. Uh, power 5 or higher cards are typically cards you don't want to see again. So being able to just instantly destroy it and purge it. Yeah, that's awesome. I have two of them. Whoa, that's awesome. Man, God, I love Sanctum so much, man. The artwork, the effects, they're s such a good faction. I love it. Virtuous Works. So this is a, a really good card to have in the game. This is an uncommon, which kind of throws a little wrench in the works. But essentially, it sets the precedent that one card is worth about three amber, right? Um, we see this kind of with Ghostly Hand, which is one card. It gives you two amber guaranteed. Potentially lets you steal one for a deficit of four. So I think one card for three amber is kind of like the baseline they, they design cards around. Although this is an uncommon card, which might, I don't know, maybe make it a little weirder. I heard, whatever. We have the Potion of Invulnerability. This is also an uncommon card. Gives you an amber. It's an artifact. Sacrifice it for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature cannot be damaged. That is insane. What? That is so... Okay, I don't want to make a hypothesis, hypothesis about this deck. But the amount of fighting going on, thanks to the, the Brobnar cards, and I mean just in general, this is an Omni Artifact. That is so good, man. That is so good for this. I love that. I love that this is in there. Wow. Okay, moving on. Protectrix. This is a uh, common Sanctum creature, 5 power reap. You may fully heal a creature. If you do, that creature cannot be dealt damage to the remainder of the turn. Wow. Nice. Love it. I just love the artwork on the Sanctum creatures, man. So good. Rating Knight, four power, two armor, play, capture one. Now, I do want to point out that, once again, this isn't. This is a human, though. Um, depending on how many more humans we have. So far, it's not looking like we have any, really, besides Rating Knight. Uh, capture one. Anyways, this is a decent card. Um, then we have uh, Sequis. This is also a human, unfortunately. Four power, two armor, reap, capture one. So, uh, these kind of... You know, they both function in different ways. This is an instant kind of gratification. This is more like long, long term. And then lastly, Sergeant Zekiel. Four power, one armor, human. Once again, unfortunate. Play, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Does Nova male battlefield count function well or what? Uh, so as usual, here's kind of the deck list, guys. Um... Yeah, I, I really liked how this came out. Uh, I would have loved it if if uh, Mars wasn't a part of this deck. I, I don't really think the Mars faction side of it is really doing much help here. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm usually wrong. There are a lot of great cards in it, though. Uh, Ether Spider's great. Um, it makes Blip Blip really good that there's this many creatures. Um, Plague Master is kind of my concern. Domineer is great. Uh, yeah, there's so much good stuff here. I love this deck uh, already. I'm looking forward to playing with it. Maybe it ends up sucking. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. But hey, guys, that was Nova Male Battlefield Count. I'll see you guys in the next Keyforge video.